I took a 10-hour flight from England to Washington DC in order to make a historical pilgrimage. It was my first time visiting the American capital, and I instantly fell in love with the place. Capitol Building, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, Washington Monument, and the Lincoln Memorial were all visited before a quick coffee stop so that I could pretend that I was the nerd writer before heading over to a location I had dreamed of visiting for many years. The Exorcist was directed by William Friedkin and the screenplay was written by William Peter Blatty who also wrote the original novel. A cinematic horror staple from 1973, the film has gone on to terrify audiences worldwide for decades. I was captivated by it upon first seeing it in the late 1990s and had always wanted to walk the same streets as its characters, cast and crew ever since. Located a mere 13 minute drive from the White House in the historic neighbourhood of Georgetown, an area once called home by a pre-presidential John F. Kennedy, I travelled to the corner of Prospect and 36th Street. Okay everybody, so this is a location I've wanted to visit since the late 90s when I first saw this film. It's one of my favourite films. Let's give you a little clue just here. We're at the location of what I would certainly call one of the greatest horrors and one of the greatest films of all time. It's The Exorcist, William Friedkin's 1973 classic. We've got The Exorcist steps just down here, but there's something very special to look at first. We're just across the road. I've got my uh, happy location hunters who are kindly waiting for me to finish up here. They're very excited and thrilled to be at this location. So much so that they uh, they said, take me, <laughs> earlier on. God damn you, take me! And just across the road, before we talk a little bit more about Exorcist stuff, on 36th Street, we've also got tombs, which you can just see here, which is a predominant location. It's the University or College Bar in St. Elmo's Fire as well. But let's just cross over these. Here we go, here's the house. Now, what you'll notice is the steps, which are uh, just located just here. You can just see up here. The steps which are located just there, which Father Karras jumps down at the end of the film. Sorry if I'm giving any spoilers away there. So you can actually see there's a gap of about 40 feet between the house and the stairs. When he jumps out of the window, they actually built a false facade for him to, to jump out of when he jumped out of the window, which was all in this area here, which they built on, which gave the illusion that the jump out of the window could be done. So the facade was all built on this side here, and he jumps down the stairs just here. This is obviously the window which would have been just in this area here of the extension, would have been the location that we see where Max von Sydow's character arrives, which is the poster of the film and on loads of t-shirts and everything is one of the, uh, the most iconic things in horror cinema. I've actually got goosebumps being here, this is just incredible. But I'm going to cross the street and then head down the steps to see the rest of the location. I don't want to intrude too much because it is uh, an actual home that people live in. And this is just one of the most special things I've ever seen in my life. That's some steep stairs. So the window would have been here, underneath all this foliage. And he jumps to the bottom when he's possessed to take the demon with him. Well, it's been so magical being here. There's one more thing to do. We've got to go down the steps. <sighs> Brendan and Michael are going to lead the way. I'm going to follow behind.
So when Father Karras falls down these steps just here, it's on this section round about here where he lands and then crowds gather, people run down the steps and people run over, you can see them, they're at the petrol station just over here and they run over to try and come to his aid. He actually gets his last rites down here by the third priest. Now the third priest is one of my favourite stories in all of cinema because it's horrific but <laughs> it's one of those stories that you can't actually believe is true. He was a genuine priest who gives him his last rites and he did a couple of takes but um, William Friedkin didn't think they were convincing enough so he cracked him across the face, just absolutely belted him and then you can see his hand tremble as he's giving Father Karras his last rites just at this section here. I mean, I don't know in what other circumstances you'd be able to slap a priest across the face and call it art. So we're gonna have to go in a second. I don't want to leave, I could stay here forever. That's brilliant. So Jason Miller, Father Karras. I think it's time for us to uh, to be on our way. There might just be one more thing we have to do before we go. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Have to call. Wanted that for about 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can put on your own stuff. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more film content and if you would like to join us for a film location walking tour of Liverpool you can do so by booking online at realtours.co.uk.